بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so probably in today's networks the commonly used queuing mechanisms we have three three options uh, in that we will be using the combination of these uh, different queuing mechanisms so in this first we'll try to understand the fair queuing uh, fair queuing it's also called as weighted fair queuing we'll add some weightage to that so basically what is fair queuing is fair queuing is an automated scheduling method which is kind of dynamic method where it will dynamically create its own queues like this is a q1 q2 and q3 so these queues are dynamically created based on the traffic flows so dynamically it is going to provide some kind of uh, fair bandwidth allocation to all the queues and all the network traffic so it's like allocating the bandwidth to all the queues and and in this fair queuing as i said it is an automated option we don't have to classify so there is no classification done by the administrator so it's something done automatically by the device so and we don't have any option to classify here so it automatically applies the priority values so the priority will be given uh, basically priority or weights will be given uh, it will be identify the traffic and classifies on its own so it's going to use some kind of random algorithms or random hash values it is going to apply and these hash values will be uh, will decide in which flow this traffic will go and these hash values are generated based on uh, based on what is the source and destination ip or what what tcp ports they go to uh, what is the protocol number or based on the marking options so these all uh, values will be used means it will generate some hash value accordingly it will dynamically create a multiple queues and it will do forwarding dynamically so again uh, the the main thing here is the traffic now now how exactly it will do a little bit uh, let me give an idea here so normally what happens is let's say the traffic with the same flow are placed in the same queue so traffic with the same flow will be placed in the same queue like generally it it supports somewhere around maximum of 256 queues it's going to support and what happens is all the packets with the same priority like let's say if there is any specific uh, priority field or marking option is uh, configured then based on the priority if all the traffic all the packets have the same priority or nothing but same dscp value or same president's marking values then what it is going to do is it is going to automatically divide the bandwidth in all the queues so let's say we are receiving uh, all the vip traffic which has EF marking. So it's all VYP traffic. So what it is going to do is it's going to, or maybe you have FTP traffic, which is also EF, HTP traffic, which is also EF. So if the marking value is same for all the types of traffic, then automatically it will distribute them into multiple queues and it's going to automatically share the bandwidth or divide the bandwidth among all the queues. But let's say if the packets are being received with uh, different marking values let's say we have a some packets receiving with an ef marking and some packets receiving with an af marking and some packets let's say http receiving with the presence value of two so if there is a variable uh, marking values then it will ensure that your uh, low traffic flows will have a minimum delay so basically it will ensure that this low um, it will ensure that your traffic have minimum delay like your high priority traffic now in this case what happens is your high priority traffic may actually experience some kind of delay compared to the low 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 priority traffic because low low traffic flows are nothing but like uh, which has uh, small size packets so small size packets will be preferred over the big size packets ensuring that uh, the, your high uh, high bandwidth utilization applications are not using all the bandwidth okay so packets with the high priority will be always scheduled before the low priority traffic but at the same time it will ensure that your big uh, 
uh, high priority, high traffic flows do not utilize all the bandwidth. Okay, so in other words, we can say the higher the uh, type of service value, the marking value, so that will be always sent first. But again, the drawback with this one is uh, we don't have any control over this mechanism. So we cannot do anything. We, we just need to say weighted fair queuing we want to enable and it will start doing it automatically at the back end. So if you try to see the default for most of the slow links, it will be weighted fair queuing. So if you go and say show interface uh, S1 by 0, which is 1.5 Mbps link. So by default, any link which is less than uh, 2, 2 Mbps will have the default queuing strategy will be weighted fair queue. And any, any high speed links will always have the default queuing mechanism will be first in, first out. So these are the default uh, mechanisms. But if you want, we can change. Like if you want to change to fair queue, you can change with this command. Like let's say I want to go to my router and I want to change. If I go and say show interface uh, S1 by 0, anyway, it's already fair queuing. I don't need to change. The default queuing mechanism will be weighted fair queuing. So if you want to change to weighted fair queuing, you can simply go and say on the interface fair queue. Uh, there's an option of fair queue, but again, in the new iOS versions, uh, it's a different configuration because in the new iOS versions, you have to uh, specify something like this. I need to specify a policy. So we'll be creating a policy map and then i'm going to match all my traffic that is a class default which is the default class and then we say fail queue here and then we'll apply this under the interface so anyway you don't need to apply this because anyway default is there so if you verify now show s1 by zero now you will see the default queuing is class-based queuing class-based because whenever you make any changes whenever you apply any service policy it will automatically come down the class-based queuing. But at the back end, it's a default uh, queuing mechanism will be fair queuing. So the fair queuing is something it will do automatically. So most of the traffic, which we don't want to classify, we just want them to go with a weighted fair queuing. Like uh, I want some priority for my VYP traffic, but rest of the traffic, I want them to go with weighted fair queuing. 